Well, house plants are becoming trendier, especially in millennial homes. They not only look great in any room, but scientists say they're also extremely beneficial to our health. First and foremost, plants help us breathe by releasing oxygen and absorb carbon dioxide. This also freshens the air and eliminates harmful toxins in the air. So how can you make sure you always have plants alive and well around the house? B. Copeland, host of Cheddar at Home, joins us now to show us uh, how to make the most out of our house plants. And the key words there, Hannah mentioned, alive, alive and, and well. well. Yeah. And that is the biggest <laughs> issue. I know, it really is. Well, today we're not only talking about how to keep this guy alive, but mm -hmm. also how to propagate it. So okay. propagating is the process of creating new plants out of the plant you already have from different sources that can be seed, cuttings from a plant, mm -hmm. or other parts of a plant. So it's a, it's a neat trick. If you already have a, a plant that's alive and well, you can multiply it into many plants, um, which is a win-win. Mm -hmm. um, so the plant I have right here is a pothos. I personally love it because it's lush, it's green, it's given me, you know, like jungle vibes. Yes. Um, and it's a fun plant for small spaces because it, it trails down, it vines up, it can be great in vertical spaces. Mm -hmm. um, and so I brought this one in today, and we're going to propagate it. It's so lush. It is, yeah. and I love that about it. And it's, it's an interesting plant because it's uh, from the tropics, and it was actually a, an invasive species in the tropics, but it's really adapted well as a houseplant in temperate environments. Right. So before we propagate, <laughs> how easy is it to keep <laughs> the pothos <laughs> alive? Like, does it require a whole lot of maintenance? No. Which is why it's really? a great plant for, be for beginners. Yes, like exactly. How much water? Um, well, so I'll, I'll say this. It's called the devil's ivy mm -hmm. because it's so hard to kill. If that gives you any idea of, of Perfect, how Vanessa. resilient <laughs> this plant is, um, it's an invasive, invasive species, like I said, so it just takes over. Right. Um, low, it, ca it can do well in low to high light. You want it to be indirect light, so that opens up a lot of possibilities in apartments or homes. Um, low light is of often a tricky thing to solve right. for when you're trying to pick a plant. Mm -hmm. um, and watering, you know, it can take uh, so some drought. It can take some abuse. You can forget about this thing for a couple weeks and come back, give it some water, and it'll come back alive. Two week vacation and still alive and well. <laughs> yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. This is a good plant for a vacationer. Um, okay, so let's jump in. Let's propagate this guy. Right. Um, we have a lush plant to begin with, but um, what you want to do when propagating is look for a healthy portion of the plant. Nothing that's dry, nothing that's yellowed. Um, this, this plant does have variegated leaves, so that just means you'll see on some of these leaves the marbling. Right. That's, right. that's um, part of the plant, and that's an it's interesting character. thing and something yeah. that people cultivate. Mm -hmm. So we want to pick a healthy portion. I just selected right here. And okay. Hannah, do you want to do the honors? Let's sure. Scissors. Is there an angle? <laughs> yes. Is there any yes. <laughs> so what we're looking to propagate, when we propagate this plant, um, we want to pro we're going to be making cuttings of the individual leaves. Mm -hmm. So I want you to make a cutting right here, right, right okay. in between two leaves. Yeah, there we go. Great. So this guy we're going to use to propagate, to, to make cuttings of. Okay. So we have our leaves, our stems, our vine here. Mm -hmm. And where the leaf stem meets the vine, that's what we call the eye or the node. Um, you'll see there are aerial roots. You see one mm -hmm. right there. Aerial roots that will start to bud here. Um, and that's what you're going to use to propagate. That's where you can get some you know, gotcha. another plant growing. So, okay. Hannah, I'll let you take this. What you want to do... Are you sure you don't want to go? No, go yeah. ahead. Propagate um, away. <laughs> we're going to trim. Give it about half a centimeter, a centimeter away from each eye. Away from... So, so a little bit less. A little we less. Like cut, yep, there here. you go. That's great. So this is one cutting. Okay. okay. Put that to the side. And we want to do the same for all of these little leaves. Give about a centimeter on each side. Okay. Um, I'll get my fingers out of the way. Yeah, so wait. So, <laughs> so <laughs> right here. Uh, yeah, great. And the other side of it as well. We're just kind of trimming all this excess oh God, uh, excess vine. Right. Exactly, perfect. You guys can here, Vanessa. Chop I'll let you take over. Guy. Okay. So yeah, hold it. We're trimming. We're trimming this vine because right here. Um, is that uh, great? Yeah. You just want to give it a little bit of room. That's we're right. trimming the in, and and the other side as well. So all of them should kind of look like that. This side. Yep. All right. And you'll want to trim this as well. Trim up the, away that long piece. Uh, nope. <laughs> So right here. Me and Vanessa are naturals. Like where we're naturals. Where you killed the plant. <laughs> <laughs> um, trim on either side of the node. So just a so right centimeter. Here. Exactly. Right. Yep. So each one will kind of look just like that. Okay. You're trimming away that long portion of the vine because that's just excess. It's, you don't it's, need it. Uh, yeah. A longer distance for the nutrients from the water to travel to the gotcha. rest of the plant for the root to grow. So once you have all these little cuttings, mm -hmm. we've got this one, this mm -hmm. one. Let's trim this guy a little bit right there. 
Perfect. You're a pro. You'll take all these cuttings, and it's so simple. You put these in water. That actually looks adorable. Room it does. temperature water. Yeah. Um, you let them sit. So the, the key with this is you want to put this room temperature water, like I said. Um, you don't want this to get cold. Uh, that will kind of uh, stunt the growing process of the new roots. Mm -hmm. Somewhere kind of warm above 68 degrees, so definitely not at a windowsill in winter something a little bit warmer out of direct sunlight. So you put that away, mm -hmm. you let it grow, you want to replenish the water, change out the water every third day. It's not gonna, yeah. you know, it's not hard and fast, but every kind of third day because you want to replenish the oxygen in the water. And in three weeks, four weeks, mm -hmm. you'll get something going on that's a little bit closer to this. So you can see in there the little white roots growing. I'll take them out so you can really see them. <coughs> this is, um, this has been sitting for about three weeks. So these guys, oh, you see, have, yeah. I feel like we're doing a science experiment, <laughs> little white roots that yeah. have begun to bud. This is exactly what you want. This means you're going to have a new plant. Okay. So these guys stay in water. And um, like I said, this was about three weeks. These look a little bit short to me. I might let them stay in a little bit longer, maybe mm -hmm. another week or two. And once you have a bunch of cuttings with roots that have grown, mm -hmm. you're ready to make your creative decision. And that's either to keep it growing in water mm -hmm. or transport these cuttings to soil. You can choose either. Okay. But once you choose, that's kind of where the plant's going to go. You can't it. go back and forth. You've right. got to choose. And then you'll have a plant that looks like this if you decide exactly. to grow Exactly. So it say, soil. say, you know, fast forward, you could collect all these little, all these guys, mm -hmm. a little cluster of um, cuttings. Mm -hmm. They'll have their nice roots. And you can either plant this in soil, mm -hmm. keep it in a nice vase of water, um, and yeah, you're on your way to get something really lush and big and full, just right. like that. These will begin sprouting more leaves, more vines, and Soon enough, it'll take over your apartment. You just propagated. How do you feel? Amazing. <laughs> you what an invigorating experience. I know. I mean, snip, snip, and you're done. And right. you mentioned this plant is pretty low maintenance. Any others that you can recommend for me and Vanessa? Well, what I love about plants is that they're really, like, they can go along with your personal style. I know, Vanessa, you're not partial to this pothos, it's like, binding around right. and taking over A lot of hand. But what I love about plants is there's always, um, you, can, you can tailor them to your design sense mm -hmm. as well. So maybe for you, something like a snake plant, something more vertical, yes. more contained, that's totally. not going to take over. It looks mo much more clean, mm -hmm. simple. Um, snake plant is great. Um, ZZ plant is also great. ZZ Very low plants. maintenance. Um, great in, in uh, all sorts of light mm -hmm. conditions. Um, and, you know, if you're really not doing the plant thing, an, a, an air fern. You know, that's, you spritz it with water right. every once in a while. That's what I love about you, being yeah. Keep it nice and simple. Nice and simple. And quickly, before we let you go, obviously, millennials are always on a budget. So mm. is this fairly affordable? Oh, I mean, what, what we just did was free, right? Right, yeah, we turned one into two right. or so however. So this other. one was maybe 20 bucks to start, and okay. you could propagate this till the cows come home. Okay. You know, you could, <laughs> this one is going to become a brand new one. You can propagate this one. It keeps on going. Right. It's, yeah. it's a Russian doll of plants. Propagate away. V. Yeah. <laughs> Copeland here from Cheddar Home. Of course, you can check her out every Tuesday on Cheddar. B, thank you so much Bee, for being with you. us. Of course.